Thank you for joining us at Movie Rage. I'm Jeremy. I'm James. And today we're going to talk about 30 Days of Night, a film starring Josh Hartnett and Melissa George. Uh, this is uh, in return to a request from, from Sherry. Sherry asking us for an old school horror flick. Uh, it doesn't quite go back as far as Halloween, the example that she gave us, but it does go back to 2007 and it is a really good flick that if you have not seen, I suggest you see it. Uh, it takes place in Alaska right before... Um, you know, 30 Days a Night, you know, title of the movie. And uh, they get some surpri surprising visitors. Uh, James, you want to let us? Yeah. Well, like Jeremy said, they get some surprising visitors. Um, these vampires um, kind of were scoping out the place in the beginning, you know, waiting for the timings right. And then once uh, Alaska's uh, nightfall started to happen, they came in and they're trying to take over this town. It's only, you know, a handful of people. And they try to, you know, just take over the town. Uh, they're going one by one. They're starting off with, you know, dogs, cutting out power, uh, taking out uh, transportation. So they did uh, steal all their cell phones. Too. Yeah. And uh, they're tried, they just try to cut, cut off all types of communication out from the outside of this town. And then from there on, of course, vampires, they're always killing and trying to take out the town and then they were going to start from that one and go to the next one but they had a group of small group of people that survived and uh they their just, goal is to survive right i mean the elements i mean you are in alaska you know snowstorms and whatnot and you got vampires on top of it right uh now, food rations kind of, and kind you of know. A, a hard situation to to i mean let's, on, yeah let's take into let's, let's for a, just a thought for a second Say vampires are real, okay? Get yeah. yourself in that situation, you know? Right. I mean, when you, you got to choose. It's like, I'm fucking hungry. You know, I can go across to the deli or whatnot and grab, you know, a pie or something. But then it's like, okay, well, now I got to go get that pie because I'm fucking hungry. But I got these vampires out there going to suck the shit out of me. Yeah. You know, well, it's what like, you, you, you got to weigh it in, man. Right. So, you know, me, I'm going to be fucking eating cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> those vampires it's, can eat my ass. <laughs> Insulation out of the wall, you know, find me a dead mouse. But, I mean, they did everything they could to uh, survive, and it, that's the whole movie. They're running from place to place. They're doing a hell of a job surviving. Uh, they're still all trying to figure out how to take them out and uh, survive 30 days. Um, I was very pleased with this movie. Uh, first time, you know, watcher of this movie, and uh, I would recommend it. I mean, there's not a lot of talking in it, but of course, you're hiding out. You know, you're you're not trying to make a sound from vampires. So, I mean, the plot was excellent. I mean, the storyline fit what they were trying to do. The ending was, you know, pretty wicked. Not a lot of fight scenes, but you know, it it made up for it. You mm -hmm. know, and the acting was suspense. Yeah, the acting was very well done. I mean everyone did an excellent excellent job so that is definitely my opinion on it I would on my side I would say definitely if you get a chance watch it definitely yeah so all right uh, with other uh, movie rage news um, anything else we got going on right now um, I know uh, we got a couple more reviews to take care of we are gonna get to the requests uh, sorry about the holdup uh, just but like we anything. will get to them. <laughs> just yeah, just like anything. Sometimes you get a stop and you have nothing you can do, you know, beyond your control. But we will definitely make sure we get those reviews out to you um, from all those requests. And uh, another thing is, I understand, you know, um, Hansel and Gretel. We said it was going to be our next review. That will be up soon, even though there's probably tons of people have already seen it. Most we can tell you is this weekend it's made 19 million. But um, you got people saying, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. But we'll tell you how it is, really. And you'll get the truth. I mean, that's how we are at Movie Rage. We tell you the truth. People will say it sucks, and we'll say it's awesome. But we're going to go see it in 3D. So if, you know, 3D is the way to go, then we suggest to watch it in 3D instead of, you know. I would suggest watching any, anything, anything in 3D, 3D if it's available. <laughs> that's good. Minus Texas Chainsaw. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. But um, overall, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll have trivias and stuff like that when we get the chance. Uh, we're not forgetting about you people. And give us likes and subscribe to us on uh, YouTube here, baby. Yep. So that's what we're asking for. All right. Until next time. 
Yep. I'm James. I'm Jeremy. Rear Movie Rage. Peace mm -hmm. out.